So hey guys, today I want to do a video on where I actually kind of sit down and try to record my voice and um, it's going to be interesting because I actually really hate my voice but I will make it work. Going into the actual painting, it is a watercolor illustration of an OC which is kind of weird for me to post, I know. Um, I realize that I mostly do lots of fan art but and that's where I post and share it on my social medias. But more times not, I actually draw a lot of OCs. Um, and I really wanted to share this one because I really liked the idea and the concept and how it was coming together. So I hope you enjoyed it too and kind of watched my painting process. And something interesting about my painting, it is kind of smaller than the size of my hand and I do have really small hands. So it was really interesting trying to get the little details in. And uh, so yes, this is the nosy of mine. Um, he is a little warlock who does plant-based um, magic and lots of herbology, same as potions. And his magic has everything to do with plant and the earth. And he amazingly like likes to make flowers grow. And with him, I wanted to give him the most interesting pet I thought possible. It's like, what is the best pet you can have? And my first thing was a cat every witch has a cat so then I wanted to do something else that was different I thought maybe a dog no maybe an owl then it hit me kelpie I love kelpies um so they are actually my favorite mythical creature and I was like you know what let's give him a kelpie because he is so fluffy and cute as my style is called everything I make so cute and innocent and I figured what is better than a Kelpie for this kind of uh, contrast anyways plus if you didn't know Kelpies are shapeshifters so when he goes to market you can have a little protective Kelpie buddy pet thing which is even better anyways so getting text awesome Going into what I want to talk, I do have a lot of topics I would like to cover in the future, like what kind of watercolors I use, what I recommend, and like that kind of stuff, but I kind of want to do a video talking about it because I have lost strong feelings and it's hard because I have, I feel like a lot of younger people, especially like me now who follow me, and they want to know what brand I use, thinking because I tell them the brand, what do you buy? invest all this money in the same brand that their pictures would look as amazing as mine do which isn't necessarily true and I will stop there and go more to that topic in the future in a different video anyway so for the rest of this I do want to talk more about the Kelpie and kind of talk to you about what a Kelpie is so you can get into it because I couldn't think of anything else to talk about Okay, so for a Kelpie, a Kelpie is a shapeshifter. They are known in Ireland, and I do believe more times than not from what I've read, they're living in lakes, and they're kind of lakes or bodies of water. They're kind of in the middle of nowhere, very kind of secluded. And lots of times you can see just a black horse in the middle of the field. And it's no all around, but it comes up to you, and it gets down like you, make, you want to ride this horse, right? And so you go, and you're kind of petting the horse, and then the horse lays down, and you're like, oh my god, this is magical. And you get onto the horse, and then your hands start sticking to it, and you start seeing that it's kind of almost like melting, like oily, and you get covered, and you try to pull your hand away, but your hand will just pull away and then the Kelpie starts running and running and then it goes and dives into the water and then it turns into what actually is. A Kelpie is a shapeshifter. So it does, it turns not just a horse, yeah sometimes it's a beautiful woman um, is our thing or whoever you can get to entice you and you go into this, it goes and it gets you attractive and it lures you either into the water or to come with it and it will make you so you're stuck to it drag you into water, it will drown you, and then it eats you. And that kind of is the story of the Kelpie. It's, they're a little dark, they're a little scary, but I do think that's kind of interesting, especially more of the context of my character who is 
basically just a herbologist and does plant magic which is kind of totally not what you would expect to have a scary Kelby. Um, going back in this picture real quick though, I do not know how I feel about this galaxy cape and uh, what I was doing just then you didn't really see it which makes me so mad but I was adding iridescence to the hat and cape so it's more sparkly and beautiful in real life. Um, I do tend to like to do that a lot. And my final thoughts on this. I do really like it. Um, I kind of probably should have pushed the values a little bit more in the background foreground area, but I was honestly this is just such a super quick sketch that I really didn't care. Anyways, I really hope you like this video and you look for the next one and I'll cover a ton of cool topics. My next one will probably be about watercolors and using expensive versus cheap. And expect the next video to be very soon.